these six things God hates. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that plots wickedness, feet that are swift to run into evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among the brethren. Now, of all those, I want to focus on uh, the third one. Hands that shed innocent blood. You know, I talk to a lot of people that, you know, eat animals. A lot of people that eat animals, they always want to bring the Bible into it. Talk about Jesus. <laughs> Jesus ate fish. Jesus fed people fish. They never mention verses like that, though. Y'all don't understand. When you eat animals, you're choosing to be cursed instead of blessed. You're literally choosing the curse over the blessing. Like, I don't even understand how this is not obvious to people. Like, how is this not common sense? Over half a million people die from heart disease every year. It's from eating animals. Almost half a million people die from cancer every year. Most of it's animals. Almost half a million people die from diabetes every year. Animals. People think sugar causes diabetes. Sugar doesn't cause diabetes. Fat is what causes diabetes. Diets that are high in fat. And animals are high in fat. Those fats prevent sugar from getting into the cells. And so they just stay in the blood. Blood sugar. Your sugar in the blood is high because they're not able to enter the cells because of the fat, the animal fat mostly, that's blocking the cells. Every time you eat the rotting flesh of a dead animal, you're choosing to be cursed. You know, these people never talk about Genesis 1 and 2 either. Everything they ever mention about eating meat in the Bible, it's all talking about life under the curse. All of your proof is invalid. You can't justify it. Like these aren't even good attempts to justify it. You can't use the Bible at all to justify it. Jesus, don't matter what Jesus did, Jesus was living under the curse. Like he came to be a curse, to set people free from the curse. I'm not saying I believe in all that. I'm just saying that's what it teaches. He came to be a curse. So he had to live under the curse. All of the suffering that exists in the world is because we're living under a curse. The earth was cursed for us eating shit that we weren't supposed to eat. Period. You can't justify the shit. Like you sound stupid. Like no disrespect. You really sound stupid trying to use the Bible to justify eating dead animals. God hates hands that shed innocent blood. It doesn't say innocent human blood. It says innocent blood. That means animals. All of them. God hates when people shed innocent blood. What about the Ten Commandments in Exodus? They never talk about that. Thou shalt not kill. It doesn't say thou shalt not kill humans. It says thou shalt not kill. They never talk about the beginning in Genesis 1 and 2 before the entire earth was cursed. They never talk because you can't. They can't talk about that. Because in the beginning, it's clear. Before suffering, before sickness and disease and death. And all of this suffering that's in the world now. Before these things were even part of our reality. We lived in heaven on earth. In the garden. 
There was no suffering, no sickness, no disease, no death, no dying, no nothing. And we ate fruit. That's all we ate was fruit. And God said, I have given you every fruit bearing seed. That shall be your meat. And every herb bearing seed. We didn't eat animals. We didn't kill animals. There was no killing. I don't you understand like killing is cursed living. And it's just interesting how you can choose to be blessed or you can choose to be cursed. And so many people choose to be cursed. People actually choose sickness and disease over being in excellent health. And why even try to justify it? Because you can't justify it. So why not just say, look, I don't care. I'm going to keep eating dead animals. I don't care that they've been dead for at least 30 days. I don't care that they're injected full of toxic, harmful, disease-causing chemicals. I don't care that cooking it causes cancer. I'm going to keep eating it. Why not just say that? Like, why y'all always trying to defend and explain and justify? Because y'all feel guilty. Because you know you shouldn't be eating the shit in the first place. And so you try to defend it and justify it and explain it to try to make yourself feel better. You know you full of shit. And that's why y'all get mad when somebody like me come on one of these platforms and tell the truth. That's why y'all, you know, call yourselves insulting me and, you know, all these things. But you can't insult me. Because I don't give a fuck about what y'all think. I don't give a fuck about what y'all say. Because I know I'm speaking the truth. And I know that I'm blessed. And I know that you're cursed. And I know that everything you're saying is bullshit.